to begin any drawing is going to be starting off with a blank piece of paper and a pen, right? So get yourself a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what kind. It can have lines on it. It can be a yellow post-it. Uh, you can get any kind of pencils or pens or anything that you want. I'm going to draw with this brush pen here. So uh, we have a bike and we have a trike. A bike has two wheels. A trike, tri, has three wheels. So let's start off with the simpler one first, which is in this case going to be a bicycle. Um, whenever I give little drawing demonstrations at school visits and at bookstores, I always start off by drawing this. And um, I like to ask, okay, now that I've drawn that, what is it? And sometimes you have, I guess you could say the lazy people in the audience, and they say, oh, it's a circle. And uh, I suppose they're right. It is a circle. But if you use your imagination a little bit, it can be something much more than a circle. It could be a ball. It could be a pizza. It could be a cookie. I always like to draw cookies. Uh, in this case, it's going to be a... Come on. Shout it out. Let me see if I can hear you from wherever you are. Look, it's another circle. What do you think it is? I hear you, it's a wheel. What do we need? We need another one, right? Another cookie, I mean, <laughs> another wheel. So one of the funny things about bikes is they're made up basically of straight lines and circles. So we start off with these two, this is from here, you could do any kind of bike you want. Um, our bike in the book has a chain ring, which is another circle. It's got a couple of hubs, which are more circles. They go, the hubs are what hold the wheels together. Look, more circles. All right, so now we have, this could also be glasses and eyes, but it's not, it's, it's a bike, I promise you. Uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine circles. And in the book, uh, we have 10 here and 11, just to add more detail. So then we have what are called, uh, I guess they're partial circles. They're really, they're the fenders of bike. And it goes up a bit like this for the front fender. And the rear fender is a little longer. It goes more that way. Uh, then we have to draw the frame of the bike. So we start off by, it's frame, bicycle frames are kind of a diamond shape in a way. Um, you start off by kind of having what's called the head tube up here. Um, I make it just basically a square. Then you attach one part of the fork here and see, I'm not gonna draw it there because it goes behind that fender and that wheel. So it kind of gives it a little bit of dimension. Uh, so then we have part of the frame here, which is called the chain stay. We have the uh, down tube here. Okay. You have your, let's see, let's do the seat tube next, which is this one that goes here. The top tube goes here. And then this one's called the seat stay. I know it's a strange name. It goes right there. Um, now, you can kind of see it's a bicycle, right? Now things get difficult. Uh, handlebars are always difficult to draw. So we have to draw first what's called the stem. The stem sort of holds the handlebars onto the bike. Um, I like kind of goofy looking handlebars. So the way the, way, uh, the handlebars look uh, on bike and trike are something like this. Uh, this goes up and it comes down and then has another there. So this is where you would hold it right here. So we're gonna draw the grips on there and right there. And then there's a little crossbar, which you can decorate or put things on. Um, now, what is it missing? Anybody know what's missing here? We have a couple of things that we haven't gotten to yet. We have to draw a saddle. Bike saddle is a banana seat. My sister's bike used to have a banana seat when I was a kid. I was always jealous that she had a really cool sparkly banana seat on her bike. Okay, and then we have draw a little insignia. Like when you look at bikes, especially older bikes, they have fancy little labels or medallions up front that kind of show what the company that made them. 
Um, last thing, that's why, not the, quite the last thing. We oh, two 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 things. These are not as important, but they are part of of the bike in bike and trike, and that is lights, reflectors. Those are very important for you while you're out riding, and um, and then we have to have pedals, right? So here's a pedal for that one, and the other pedal is kind of hidden up here, but it's going to be there anyway. All right, so there is bike. Uh, bike has a couple of streamers. Fancy. He is new after all. And he's got a horn. Let's draw the horn here. And then we have to yell the sound that a horn makes on the count of three. One, two, beep, beep. Very good, thank you. I enjoyed that very much. Uh, let's do a, um, let's do trike now. This time I'm gonna draw with a colored pencil. Let's find, let me think, what color would be a good color for, for trike? How about a nice turquoise color here? Um, find my sharpener. Do, do, do. Sometimes things take a while. All right, better, not great. All right, so now the difference between bike and trike is trike has three wheels. So we're gonna start off by drawing another cookie, uh, another pizza, I mean, another uh, another wheel. It's pretty much the same. So it's a nice turquoise wheel there. Same thing, we gotta have a hub. There are some structural similarities between bicycles and tricycles. Now, the big difference is trike has two little wheels in the back instead of one big wheel in the back. So draw two little cookies, or two little wheels here. And uh, another one is right here. Very simple. Uh, tricycles are, they have like a stand kind of in the back. When I was a kid, little, little, little kid, we'd, we'd stand on the stand, I suppose. Uh, here's another similarity, the, the head tube, a lot like, uh, a, like his friend bike here. We have the fork, a lot like his friend bike here. Your trike can have a fender like this here. Uh, the trike in, in the book does not. He has a little round head badge there. Uh, so the frame for trike is much simpler. It's a curved line. And then we have a little, a little seat tube to, to, to hold the saddle on. And uh, this saddle's shaped a little differently. It's a little more traditional. You can color it in or, or leave it not. Trike's got a couple of patches where his saddle's fallen apart over the years. It's been around a while, well used, well loved. Uh, handlebars are almost the same, a little different. They kind of come this way and a uh, little different grips, simpler. And now, again, Trike is kind of old, so he's got like two streamers there and just one there. He's lost a couple of streamers over the years. And he's got a bell, so now it's time to make, you know what, a bell sound. Let me hear you. Ring-a-ding-a-ding. -ding. You got it. All right. Um... And his pedals, instead of being on the chain ring like bike, Trike's pedals are here. And they come off the hub directly. Makes it easier to pedal for a little kid. So there we have uh, bike and we have trike. Um, let's give it a little bit of action. So uh, maybe they are rolling together. And this guy is up off the ground. He's got some action going on. You can draw little cartoon lines like this, um, where it looks like the tires are spinning. Lots of different things you can do. You can have like beeping sounds. Beep, 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 ring, ring, ring. Okay, so bike. And trike. All right, thanks very much. Take care.